Hello and welcome to Introduction to Ethnic Studies. Um, I will be your professor, Professor Taka. Um, this is our, um, I guess, sort of like our week zero uh, introductory uh, lecture. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what it is that we will be covering for um, this particular um, course and sort of like the course design. Um, it might not be 100% exactly to what you might see on, to, on the course, but it will be very similar, um, especially if you're taking this course uh, through uh, College of the Desert. Um, so without further ado, I will be sharing screen with you all. So give me one second. Okay. I'm sharing my desktop with you all. Um, so I'm hopefully that you all can see everything that I am seeing. So let me um, try to minimize some of the screens that I have open. Um, so this is um, the course design. So if you click on home, what you will see is um, a uh, syllabus. So the syllabus is linked to the home page, and I did that by design so that we can kind of follow through together. Um, so if you do see this um, or a similar sort of uh, image, this should be uh, where you would find all the information that you can find on this class. Uh, this is a this particular class that we're looking at is 100% online. Uh, some might be hybrid or some might be um, even in person, um, but the, the general format of this class should be uh, fairly similar. Um, the information below, um, you can call me Professor uh, Taka, um, and uh, my email is, is listed below here. Uh, my email is ttanaka at collegeofthedesert.edu. Um, and make sure that you put your uh, your full name and your um, the, the course number um, as well uh, onto this uh, particular email so that I know exactly where it's coming from and so I can kind of easily look up your information before we have a discussion. Um, these are my office hours. Uh, they are subject to change and I do have a Zoom uh, office that is to be determined. But for the most part, you will uh, receive um, uh, a notification for my Zoom office as well. Um, a unique thing that I did put in here is um, uh, this week's module. So if you click on this week's module, it will pop populate where I will take you to um, our module and I'll do that in a little bit, but I'd just like to go over uh, the syllabus for us uh, now. Um, this is a catalog description. Um, it's an introductory course. Uh, it's a comparative and interdisciplinary exam uh, examination of the experiences of Black, Native American, and uh, people of color in the United States from the colonial era to today. Um, we're going to analyze historical themes through an intersectional analysis that interrogates categories of identity and power, including race, ethnicity, class, gender, sexuality, religion, et cetera. Um, in addition, uh, the course explores theoretical concepts and social processes, um, including colonization and migration, racialization, and the development of race as a social category, uh, the relationship between race and U.S. imperialism, uh, the persistence of social inequalities, and the long historical struggle for racial justice. Okay. Um, so the schedule uh, description, um, again, this is an introductory course um, and is a comparative and interdisciplinary examination of the experience of Black Native American people of color in the United States from the colonial era to today. So just giving us a uh, sort of uh, in these broad strokes of what it means to be a person of color, uh, particularly in the United States, particularly for uh, Black and Native American. Um, this is um, uh, a three unit course, um, so uh, it should take around 54 uh, lecture or seminar hours. And um, there is a prerequisite of English uh, 1A, so I'm assuming most of us have taken that course. Um, but if you do need any additional support, um, please let me know. Um, let's see, this is a required uh, textbook and, and you won't need this book until uh, later on in the semester, uh, but definitely make sure that you do um, uh, find a way to download this book and, and more instructions will be provided to you um, when that um, particular uh, assignment is, is um, made available. But for the most part, um, uh, all the readings that we have for this class are going to be uh, no cost to you at all. Uh, for you all, okay? Uh, but this is the one required textbook that you can uh, purchase for free. Um, and it's called Racism in America, a Reader. And you'll probably need this um, towards the end of the uh, uh, 
end of the semester, uh, but just keep that in mind that you can access it here and you'll have another prompt that, that allows you to access and download the book um, as we move forward uh, in, in, the, um, in the course. Um, and these are some uh, course objectives that we wanted to uh, cover. Um, and so it's really important that we sort of cover this uh, material as well. Um, objective number one, analyze and articulate concepts such as race and racism, racialization, ethnicity, equity, ethnocentrism, Eurocentrism, white supremacy, self-determination, liberation, and decolonization, sovereignty, imperialism, settler colonialism, anti-racism as analyzed in any one or more of the following. Native American studies, African American studies, Asian American studies, and Latin uh, and Latino American studies. I, I usually use the term uh, Latinx studies or uh, but or Chicanx studies. Uh, but again, um, you know, this is just um, the course uh, objectives that we see officially listed in the uh, course design for College of the Desert. Um, let's see, uh, objective two: apply theory and knowledge produced by Native American, African American, Asian American, and or uh, Latina, Latino uh, American com uh, communities to describe the critical events, histories, cultures, uh, intellectual traditions, uh, contributions, lived experiences, and social struggles of those groups with a particular emphasis on agency and group affirmation. Okay, we're gonna critically analyze uh, the intersection of race, racism as they relate to class, gender, sexuality, religion, spirituality, national origin, immigration status, ability, tribal citizenship, sovereignty, language, and or age in Native American, African American, Asian American, and or Latina, uh, Latino American communities. Uh, we're gonna do a critical uh, review of how struggle, resistance, racial and social justice, solidarity, and liberation as experienced uh, and enacted by Native Americans, African Americans, Asian Americans, and or Latina, Latino Americans uh, are relevant to current and structural issues such as communal, national, international, and transnational policies, as for example, in immigration, operations, settler colonialism, multiculturalism, language policies. And last, the fifth objective is to describe and actively engage with anti-racist and anti-colonial issues and the practices and movements of Native American, African American, Asian American, and Latina and Latino communities to build a just and equitable society. Okay, so these are kind of the the, the objectives, right, that we want to cover, and we also have uh, student learning outcomes as well. These are also uh, uh, known as SLOs. And we will be covering three major outcomes, analyze and articulate core concepts in ethnic studies, uh, including, uh, but not limited to race, ethnicity, racialization, equity, ethnocentrism, Eurocentrism, or white supremacy. We're gonna apply theory to evaluate critical events in the histories, cultures, and intellectual traditions of communities of color, with a particular emphasis on agency and self-affirmation and synthesize how resistance, social justice, and liberation as experienced by communities of color are relevant to current issues, okay? I also added some additional outcomes to this course where we're gonna communicate, think, and also become more globally aware, right? Um, and also uh, develop our own sort of uh, individual sort of responsibility and uh, develop our own sort of understanding of race and ethnic relations in this course. So we're going to try to compare and contrast cultural historical experiences here at the top, uh, uh, analyze a relevant uh, social issue or event to examine its impact on intergroup relations critically. It's going to use our, our, our thinking, right? We're going to be uh, critically engaging and, and hopefully with our projects, we're going to have a lot more uh, sort of engagement in that uh, uh, respect. Um, we're going to have global awareness, identity, and compare uh, global issues of race, racism, discrimination, and ethno violence as it relates to the parallel anti colonial struggle of the four major ethnic racial or ethnic slash racial groups. Um, and that's the Native American and uh, African American or Black, um, Latinx, and Asian uh, American uh, groups that we're going to be looking at here in uh, the United States. But we're also not going to be limited to that. I think that's part of it, right? Is there, there's going to be um, expansion into that, especially if you're identified as like Pacific Islander, for example. Okay. 
Um, let's see. And last, we're going to be doing personal development responsibility. Um, you know, we're going to be looking at uh, unpacking how our communities are entangled and intertwined within interethnic, international, and personal relations of race and ethnic uh, relations, and sort of expanding right upon ourselves. I think a lot of this is in, in going to impact us as individuals, and I want us to sort of explore and expand. So each module is going to contain these sort of required readings. And um, towards the latter half of the semester, what I'm going to have is like these readings for research that are also going to be uh, applied. And these are things that these are uh, readings and, and books that you're going to find um, fairly useful um, as we uh, work towards our, our, our midterm projects. So just keep that in mind as we um, uh, kind of move forward uh, in the course. So, um, and, and to keep an eye out for those readings for research, those will kind of, uh, those can be used as um, a way for us to sort of engage with our midterm project, right? And, and can be utilized as our primary source, right? Um, so these readings are primary sources that you can explore if you decide to pursue ethnic studies and may encounter these readings too. So just keep that in mind that, you know, I'm trying to set you all up for, um, uh, you know, further studies in this field. That's one of the big things that I would like to do for you all pedagogically, right, as a professor, right, to teach is to also inspire for hopefully that some of the readings that you read can also help you um, think about um, possible career in ethnic studies as well. Um, through the readings. Uh, we're going to have reading, uh, so we're going to have weekly uh, modules. So each modules, module is going to contain, uh, you know, required readings and, and discussion assignments and whatnot. And, and also there's going to be breakdowns too as well. And I'll cover that as we move forward in the uh, course uh, design in our modules. Okay. Um, we're going to have some assignments. We're going to have some discussion board posts. Right, uh, we're going to have some quizzes too as well, and we also have midterm projects and final exams too. So uh, just keep uh, be on the lookout for those. Um, they shouldn't be too, um, uh, you know. For example, the the quizzes are five points each, um, and you have some discussion posts that are going to be around five points. And if you do the, like an additional one, um, you know that will count towards um, extra credit as well. So just uh, keep, be on the lookout for that. Um, these aren't as like, uh, you know, each point actually is worth, um, you know, 1% of your grade. So just keep that in mind, you know, it's only a total of 100 points. So just uh, make sure you work through um, the, the mechanics of the of the course and making sure that you can get as many points as possible. Um, you know, but the largest uh, sort of uh, point breakdown, uh, part of the point breakdown is the 50 points for our midterm projects, okay, which is going to be due uh, week five. Okay, here's the grade breakdown, uh, 89 and a half or above is going to give you an A, uh, you're going to earn that A, uh, B is 79.5, C is 69 and a half, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, my goal is for us to just critically uh, engage in the material, but also have like really robust discussions and sort of thoughts that are going through. So, um, you know, please just keep up with the weekly modules and readings. Um, some of the readings can be a little bit dense, but I know we can do it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So the readings, so, um, you know, uh, please make sure to follow along with the readings and the pages in the module. Uh, you might encounter, uh, you know, I'm going to help break, uh, guide you with breakdowns, right? These are the breakdowns and concept, conceptual breakdowns that you'll see. Um, and you're going to run into um, some familiar and unfamiliar vocabulary, okay? I suggest if you do not know a word to look it up, okay? Um, I, I, I tell uh, all my students that if you, there is a word that you don't know, um, to make sure that, you know, to not be embarrassed to look it up. I look up words all the time. Um, some words that I thought I knew and I would forgotten, etc. That's just part of the exercise, right, of like getting into the habit of, of, of looking into um, words that uh, we are not familiar with, okay? So, um, you know, if, if, if an author is discussing a topic that you are familiar, you can also look it up. You know, um, we have such a lot of information that's available to us, and there are different formats and form uh, that, that we might not be uh, familiar with. So I suggest that, um, you know, we, we find ways to, to look up this information and, and sort of contextualizing it within this particular class, right? Um, and I think that'll be very uh, useful and helpful for you, especially for your projects down the line.
just um, you know, I think um, getting into the habit of looking "quote unquote" stuff up is is essential um, in this class. Um, so there's going to be a mix of individual and group discussion boards. Uh, please make sure to follow the instructions and prompts. Um, you know, and, and also uh, be respectful of your classmates too. Um, I think it's really important that if, if I do ask for you to be respond or uh, respond to a discussion, to make sure that you respond in a positive manner, um, even if you may not like wholeheartedly agree with that particular individual's response. Um, you know, there's a way of being sort of cordial about that, without having to uh, disrespect a person if you disagree with a person's uh, perspective. Here, um, the midterm project, right? It, the the concept is time travel, and we're going to discuss this project as it, as we move forward in, in week five, um, and making sure that um, you know your project, um, uh, what what it is is it's a creative project that I want you to work on, and um, where you earn forty points uh, for this project and ten points for an artist statement. Um, I want it to be like. Um, you know, um, an innovative project using some of the terms and some of the concepts that we've learned. Um, and I want you to create a poem or a song or uh, written or freestyle rap, you know, a podcast or painting um, or any medium that you see fit, right? So really kind of expanding upon what your um, what that project's gonna really look like and um, adding into it a one, per, uh, one page of reflection. Um, is also uh, key uh, to this uh, project. Um, uh, make sure that you um, upload uh, the PDF or Word document in Canvas once it's uh, completed, um, and, and make sure that you know it's you know your double spacing right, and um, uh, you know making sure that um, you know uh, it, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're double spacing or single spacing, but making sure that it's consistent and um, making sure that you're engaging with material that we've talked about. Uh, but I do want to have those sources that you did use um, in that reflective piece as well. Um, the, the final exam is going to be 20 points, and I'm going to provide that to you a week before at the end of the the end of the session. Um, and it's going to contain a written portion. Um, it's untimed, um, but please make sure that you do not plagiarize because those will be grounds for, um, you know, earning a, a zero on not only the assignment, but for the course as well. Um, these are some ground rules. Um, just making sure that you follow through with those um, ground rules. I think this is um, for, for, for me as a person that's been in these spaces is very um, common knowledge, but I think a lot of us are either returning students or first time students, uh, making sure that you are, um, you know, aware of like this notion of plagiarism, like do not copy other people's work, making sure that that, um, I mean, that, that falls in line with the academic dishonesty or academic honest, uh, dishonesty policies that we have um, in place at the college. Um, I, I, uh, and um, if I do see that happening, you will earn a zero on the assignment, okay? Just making sure that you read through the ground rules as well um, and, and knowing that, um, you know, you are respecting the sort of, um, you know, policies that are in place, making sure that you read all the, uh, you know, follow through with all the assignments, et cetera, okay? Um, you know, th this, um, you know, we, we all wanna make sure that we also are, um, you know, doing our best to be as respectful as possible. And uh, we also have something to teach as well as something to learn and um, making sure that we all are sort of um, finding our, out our own uh, intellectual blind spots as well. So just keeping in mind that we wanna make sure that we're doing our best to um, uh, be respectful of others. Um, DSPS students and DSPS policies, um, you know, if you do need um, additional sort of support, whether it's accommodations through the college, um, please reach out to me as soon as possible and reach out to those um, authorities as well, just so that we can um, uh, help accommodate you as much as I can. Um, a lot of the assignments are um, uh, made so that it's, um, um, you know, uh, accessible to everyone, but I'm not, uh, but if there are any sort of blind spots that I, that, um, that, that I'm not aware of, please make sure that you bring those to my attention so I can uh, address those as, as quickly as possible, okay? Especially if you uh, require uh, specific accommodations that are not there uh, in the course, okay? You can always email me and message me, um, so I will uh, make sure to address those concerns that you have. 
Um, uh, drop policy, um, you know, I do not want to have to drop you from the class, but making sure that you do uh, post and you do are, are you are active weekly. Um, I will be checking in, into that. Um, you know, if I do see a failing of posts or, or lack of engagement or failing to submit the proposals or, or the midterm projects, that is always going to uh, vote, uh, vote poorly for you all and, and you will be automatically dropped from the class. Um, See, and also, you know, making sure that you are uh, following through with the cheating and plagiarism policy. Okay, um, this is the week uh, weekly breakdown. Um, again, this may be a little bit different from you all, um, you know, given that uh, the, the time frame of the class, but uh, it should look something like this. Um, so make sure that you do follow through with um, uh, the particular uh, units that we are covering through uh, the semester, and just making sure that you are um, aware that these can uh, change and shift as we move through the uh, semester, depending on how. I feel like we're progressing in, in uh, during the, the term. Okay. So that is one aspect that I wanted us to cover. I also wanted us to sort of look through and see, um, uh, just cover the how the modules work. So if you click on this, you'll it'll take you directly to the modules. Um, what we have here is week zero. Okay, so week zero is, is sort of where we want to get started, and this is probably where you're seeing this particular uh, lecture on, on just the basics of how the class works. Uh, online course expectations, student learning outcomes. Again, these are some things that I wanted to cover just briefly. Um, and just you know, making sure that you read for the class essentially, right? And making sure that you are following through the objectives and the student learning outcomes that we kind of covered earlier uh, in this uh, particular um, lecture. Okay. I'm expecting roughly around five to six hours per week, uh, if not uh, a little bit less than that, uh, depending on how your uh, reading abilities are, but just making sure that you are um, uh, following through with the modules and stuff. I made it sort of accessible so you can uh, view it on your phone. Um, so just take a, you know, take a minute, maybe uh, away from your uh, social media sort of um, posts and, and, and coming through on, on Canvas to, to read through what's, uh, what, what's being presented to us in, in this class. Uh, I also have a uh, assignments module. So this is where I'm kind of organizing everything where you have all of your assignments that are gonna be sort of coming up. Uh, so just making sure that you do uh, take a look at that, um, you know, just to make sure that you kind of have all your sort of uh, uh, everything um, that you need to do for the week covered or even previous weeks that you might've missed an assignment here or there, everything will be here, okay. And then you'll have your week, uh, your weekly sort of module where you have the concepts, right? The breakdowns, your readings and the assignments, okay? Um, so just making sure that you you do the readings and, and the concepts and the breakdown is gonna really sort of help um, with the articulation of how the week is gonna uh, look like in terms of like the material, okay? The, the, the meat and potatoes of what we're gonna be talking about um, for that uh, particular week. Um, so just make sure that you do uh, take a look at that as we uh, move through the uh, move through the semester. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, the the breakdown of how the course is going to look like. Just making sure that you you click on home. Um, if you're familiar with everything, you know that's kind of um, in the syllabus. Make sure that you just click here for this week's module. You can always access everything to the to the left in the modules. But I kind of made it uh, wanted to make things a little bit easier for us so that you can kind of just click right into uh, what 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 that week is going to look like. Okay, so um, but yeah. So um, hopefully this is a helpful um, a helpful introduction. Um, please reach out to me if you have any um, further questions or concerns. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having you in class um, and making sure that you do reach out to me if you have any questions. I, I am available. Um, uh, you know, uh, and then I do try my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. And my responses to your uh, to your concerns or emails and, and to your messages in Canvas or in email as well. So yes, yeah, uh, thanks thanks a lot, and uh, talk to you soon.